Hello all, Havoc here. Let's get ready to play some Resonant Rise. Okay, so this episode, um, I decided to go out and do this a little bit exploring while our ore berries uh, continue to harvest. You know, I was standing around waiting for them to harvest and it didn't happen. Oh, oh cool. Uh, it's sweet, more. Um, and then I came across this another village. It's not far from where we started at, which is right over here. Um, when we get exploring a little bit farther out, we're going to want to put waypoints down. But uh, for now, um, our map isn't too explored, so uh, it's kind of obvious that's the village we started in. So, uh, we got some more ore berries. That's fantastic. Let's see what this blacksmith has to offer. Um, dark steel. Okay, we can make something cool with that. Oh, a better sword. That's a Tinkerer's Bronze Sword, so if we can make bronze, then we can repair that. So, that's pretty awesome. And nothing in his furnace, and the lava is leaked out and caused a small fire. Blacksmiths being careless with their, uh, their furnaces. Um... Oh, brewery. That's pretty cool. So let's see what all we have here. Um, that could be a Tinkerer's building right there, which would be awesome. Um, we're kind of looking for the Tinkerer's. Yes, it is. Cool. Um, we're looking for the buildings that have Tinkerer's because there's a chance of getting the parts we need to build an actual working pick. A flint pick, which we already have. We'll take this cactus binders just because. And a slime binding just because. Otherwise, uh, I guess we can take this. Let's drop in here. We don't have any wood right now, so we have to grab some to repair. So I don't see a smelter here either. Which really sucks because if we had a smelter here, then we could steal all it just to add it to our smelter. Um, Get those out of there, turn this into this, and we can repair our pick. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this stuff. And we'll take this home with us. It's not that far of a walk. So, journey maps. Does this place have a smelter that we can find? Uh -huh. No, it does not look like it. It's an ocelot. Uh -huh. That's fine. So, we'll do uh -huh. is uh, apothecary. Cool. Uh, like I said last time, there is a uh, chest underneath this cauldron. Just and a water divination and an apple. Take the apple. I don't know what the other things to do, so I'll just leave them. We start into a mod and it says it needs a water divination, then we know to come get that one. So if it's not expensive to just make. Um, not a lot going on in this village. Um, kind of sad. A little bit of a sad panda. Okay, so to make the things for the smelter, we're going to need grout. Our grout. And grout is made from clay, sand, and gravel. Um, so gravel, no problem. We've been coming across that pretty easy enough. Uh, more ore berries. Uh, the one thing we have been coming across though is sand. Ah. Okay. Um, we have not been coming across sand, which is going to be a problem because it is necessary to make. Uh, can we get back out? Yes, yes, okay. Do we 
we not pick? Is that a different one? That's oh, ten. Oh, ooh, fantastic! That's a next tier up than where we were at. So cool. Um. Um. Drop the poop. The poop is gonna hit the floor there. All right. So it did. The poop just hit the floor. So okay. So that just happened. Um, really don't like being in these caves like this because we don't have a way to light them to keep ourselves safe. Because we need... Uh, oh my goodness, an iron orberry bush. Uh, that's garbage. Do we pick up the ores? The iron orberries? Okay, cool. We have just moved up in the world. We can now get iron ore. Okay, nothing else. Let's go ahead and collect our torches back up because they're going to kind of a commodity here for a bit. All right, so oh, another one walked right past it. Okay, cool. We are moving up in the world. We have iron, tin, and copper orberry bushes. Now we just need to get them to flourish and create more of themselves. More berries, please. Oh, here's sand. That's that's a good sign. So we need this. Um, we're going to not need that stone guard. Stone guard. Since I play it's like a Middle Earth. Where are you going to Stone Guard? Where's that? It's next to Isengard. Alright, so collect some sand up. Uh, we're going to need a bit of it for this uh, grout that I was telling you about earlier. And uh, that's a ne necessary ingredient for making what's called seared brick, which is necessary for making the components for. Excuse me for the uh, Tinker Smelter. We need it for making the tank and for making um, the faucet and drain as well. And so next up we're going to need clay. There we go. Ah, crap. Inventory's full. And we don't need fishing poles. That's right, we don't need fishing poles. Decent way to get some food, but we don't need it right now, so. That's salt. Salt, salt, dirt, sand. Clay. So we can get the uh, smelter online, provided now that we can get a bucket. But since we have iron ore berries, two of them specifically, we can now make iron ingots. Yay. We are in back into this game, guys. Um, I was really worried there for a while. I seriously, seriously was worried. Um, the heck is that? What the heck? A Nautilus, huh? Alright. Interesting. I was seriously worried. I really was. Uh, not getting iron is a pretty bad start. Um, so I grabbed those reeds because you can turn reeds into paper, which is uh, pretty helpful in lots and lots of ways. Lots of crafting recipes require paper. Um, come on, break. Alright, so we're going to get out of here. These are cool sleeping bags, eh? I cannot sleep on that. I take a drink. Alright. 
Um, let's head back. Um, there's a creeper right over there. Okay, so we're gonna head back to town and uh, see what kind of damage we can do with this uh, getting um, 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 getting our iron ore berries planted, getting our copper ore berries taken care of. We get some iron ingots now finally. God, man, that's gonna be awesome. And that's gonna allow us to make that bucket to make or to collect lava. I mean, it didn't matter if we got the smelter working or not, if we found clay or not, or sand. Because if we can't collect lava, then we can't fuel the smelter, so. Well, there's a tremendous amount of food. So, these are made out of uh, hay, hay bales. And hay bales are made out of stacks of wheat. Lots of it. And underneath this foot is going to be a mob spawner. Yay, there always is. So we need to throw something else down now. Need another fishing pole. And as long as it's daylight, uh, they won't spawn. But that does not mean they won't spawn at night. So to help out with that problem, you do that. One torch shuts them down. Okay, so we're back home. There's another orberry bush. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna need to make a small room to put all our ore berries in. Let's go ahead and walk the wall here. All right, so we're gonna um, small detour here. Just make sure there isn't anything else up here because we found I already found an orberry bush up here. Okay, and we also know this leads us to our house, so. As soon as we get us more basic stuff online, I want to go visit those, uh, <laughs> those ranger archer looking guys over there. I am pretty sure they're hostile, so. Let's redwood this thing. car we'll just drive right through and we don't need this the wood is way more important than that whoa wanted to climb up there thank you right, well, we can turn our f7 off right now okay uh, so this is cool we can climb up here and then uh, go up into these trees like carve that whole tree down it's a tremendous amount of wood and resources. Oh, hey. Hi, Mr. Cow. Mm -hmm. You're in here pooping in my house, dude. I don't think I can get in there. So let's see, what do we got here? Uh, put this down. Nope, it's not going to let us do it. So we're going to go ahead and go like this. And I think we'll break this one. Oh, sure, might as well just break them both. Put a gate there eventually, I guess. And then to keep things from coming in, we'll do that. So. Alright, so ore berries. We got lots of them now. 
and all our ore is we are the other ingot is still over at the uh the other facility. So we're gonna go ahead and put what do we want to put in here? We'll put the apple in here. There we go. So we're gonna take these out and we'll put that tinker stuff in instead. So we'll have some tinkers here as well. Alright. I can't stand on that lever if that's what I was expecting to do. Okay. Um, so we're just going to do this. After we're done, we'll go back down and pick that up. Um, let's see. We're also going to put it in the floor. It'll make it a little bit easier to walk around in. So like that. Um, let's put that away. Let's put that away. Let's put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Alright. So let's put that one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Alright, so the cool thing is, is, um, these things link up. So I'm going to take this one down. So when you right click on this, it'll pull inventory from here. So there's a couple others that do that too. So we're going to put the tool station here, the part builder here, and then the pattern one below it. So by putting the pattern one here, you get, or, so this one. Okay, cool. It still does work. That one and the thing I put on below go to each other, but since it's still next to it, these are the patterns that was in that. So... This is a tinker set right there, and uh, okay, I think it wasn't like lava or something back here. Um, go grab those fences. I'm going to put them there. Or should I put them back here? Now we want to put a gate here, but until then, let's go ahead and do that. There. I'll put a gate there later. Okay, so... Yeah, this is what you need to build a tinker set. Anything you need to build tinkers is right there, minus the forge itself. So uh, I want this. And that can go in here. Take that with us. That can go in here. Let's put this right here. Because we can. And, oh, sure, why not? Put one right there because we can so all right so let's go run over there and see if we can do this uh it should be already in here somewhere where did we put it there it is so there's the third copper ingot there's that oh i should have planted all the other ore berries ah uh, Please work. Mining level 10. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Arms in the air and victory. Okay. There's some more nomadic craft plants blowing up. Okay. Oh, man. That is super, super frustrating. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the mechanic for leveling of the Tinker's tools, but to not be able to start out and collecting... Oh yeah, we can collect all this crap. Okay, there we go. To not be able to start out by uh, getting some things, like coal. We weren't able to harvest this. I mean, we need coal. There we go. We're moving up in the world now. I don't feel like I'm in the Stone Ages anymore. Uh, literally, actually, because, I mean, uh, inventory, or, sorry, E. Does this thing level? Okay, so this is not going to level. That's one thing I'm going to have to keep in mind. This is not a tinkerer's weapon. So, this thing is going to just flat out break. So, we're going to collect this coal up. It's not that big a deal, actually, for coal, because you can make charcoal. But, uh, ooh, dense coal. That's nice. But, um,. So we need to get uh, our uh, facility online for um, 
our other ore berries. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a hole. I'm going to go in a straight line as far back as I can until the grouse turns red. Oh, outstanding. Auto repair. That's what I was telling you guys about earlier, where this web or that tool now is going to auto repair itself. Uh, do I have our F7 on? Oh, we don't. Okay. So, so what I want to do is, um, let's break this. That does not shed enough light. So that does that. All right, so let's keep going back. All right, so to there, that's as far as I want to go. I'm going to do that. Oh, that does not work. Okay. There, that will. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig these out. So digging these out is going to allow me to go in. <coughs> I'm going to go in three on this if I if it'll let me all the way across. Um, I'm going to put my ore berries back here, and it'll be dark. So let's see what happens if I dig here. I get it red. That's what I was hoping it would not happen. Damn. Alright, so how about here? Can I get here? Ah, okay. Well, it is what it is. So I'm going to put that there, and we're going to put some cobble here. So that's where we're going to put our plants, is right there. It's right across that back row. So more copper. Like this. You can't put it there because then you won't be able to uh, pick it. And the iron one's pretty important, so we want to get that one up there in the back so it'll grow faster. And then we're going to throw the tin ones down, copper ones down, take one down, pass it around. That should turn red. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I only have one left. So I'm just going to plant that there for now. So that they won't spawn on these, but uh, yeah. I can take these out now as well once I get more and plant underneath them and stop mobs from spawning there. So, okay, our ore berries are planted. We're getting ore berries. Um, so we're going to be able to get iron now. We should be able to actually go down here now and start collecting up this stuff. Let's see, can we cop get copper with copper? Yes, we can. Most importantly, I need to go find that ore vein and collect, or the iron vein, and collect that. So. Oh, hey, what's that vein mode? Oh. No, it's not working, so. Alright, so let's go find that uh, iron. I think it was back this way somewhere. Aluminum, aluminum, tin, that's right, there it is, okay. So I'm using our wood pick to get the average stuff and that copper pick to get everything else because uh, we want to use that copper pick as little as possible so we don't break it. It has such a low durability, um, it will eventually break. So we're going to put that right here. And there it is, iron ore. Okay, so we have some coal now. So we take our cobble. I showed you guys this uh, in episode one, I think. Or was it two? And you get these sticks out of it. Like so. And you take that, you put your coal on top of it, and you get what's called a tinkerer's torch. So it's a nice way to not use uh, wood to put up a torch. Okay, so in theory, this is six ingots. It looks like three, but we're going to use a grindstone. It's a little, um, 
manual labor, and for your manual labor, you get ore in return. Um, so we're going to have to harvest this as well. So, okay. Sorry about the delay there. All right, so we're going to harvest as much of this as we can because we can turn this into more picks, just like the copper one we're using uh, once we get the grindstone in place. So this will uh, make things a little bit nicer later. Uh, we don't need a sign. Why do we have this? Sure. So the last thing we want to do, though, is use that on cobble. We don't use it to use that to break cobble like that. Just use this guy here because we can repair it and, well, because we can. Eventually, this thing will get put up on a wall somewhere and become decoration. Okay. So we're good. We're good, though. We're, we're, we're out of the, the iron scare. It's done, gone, and over with. Is that a fossil, huh? Not harvestable. Okay. I'm not even sure what it does, so I'm not going to worry about harvesting it. So. Alright, so I throw some cobble down there. It's a cool little trick. You throw a cobble around and it'll pop blocks back out for you. All right, so we're going to head back up and we're going to get to uh, that grindstone thing I was telling you about. So remember, torches on your right, that means you're headed out. Torches on your left means you're headed back home. So let's check our ore berries as we go by. And, oh, nothing's grown. And nothing's grown. Okay. It's dark outside. Let's go ahead and grab our sleeping bag so we don't get attacked by whatever the hell those things were. Um, let's see here. Man, I'm still freaked out by whatever that was. Okay, so we want to make a grindstone. So this is a very basic thing. Uh, it's Oh, we can't make it. It's super basic. I thought we could make this. Uh, Sirtis Quartz. Okay, that's a lot more complicated than I remember it being. I don't remember it taking Sirtis Quartz. That kind of sucks. Um, okay, what mining level are Sirtis on? So Sirtis... Um, this is where that ore dictionary comes in. Sirtis Quartz Ore. Is this Magical Crops? Oh my goodness, I have not played with Magical Crops. I, I really want to get into that. So 56 is the level it's on. Okay. We're definitely going to want to get into Magical Crops. It's some really cool ways of making pretty much everything in the game that's difficult to get. Uh, are you to, are you serious now? What what the hell are you? Concussion creeper. Whoa. Was he pissed off looking or what? Uh, looks like we got another one right around the corner. Yep. Oh, it's a regular run of the mill vanilla creeper. Make sure we don't got one walking up behind us. Hey, there's some magical crop stuff, I think. Um, so let's go drop off this stuff. Just do a generic dump like that so we can collect this stuff because I think those are magical crop stuff. Pissed off spider to boot. What the hell, dude? It's daylight. You're not supposed to be mad. Alright, so what was the achievement? Let's see. 
Uh, skies is the beginning. So that was for uh, the Tanya. That's pretty cool. So let's go back into inventory. And I'm pretty sure these were magical crops. Yes. Chili seeds and blueberry seeds for magical crops. All right, cool. Uh, not the kind of seeds I want to go for. I'm more interested in ones like glowstone, quartz, the like. Okay, so we're going to need some Surtis Quartz. Oh, crap. I see a zombie, and that's what was in here last time that totally wrecked us. Kicked our ass. So, that's a baby zombie, too. Where is it? He's upstairs. I hear him. Which means we have some more spots in our house that are not lit if they're coming. They're actually already in the house. Uh, there he is. <coughs> Alright, so our F7 is on. How did this guy get in here? Oh, this would do it right here. Not the fanciest location for a torch, but it's definitely effective. So put one here, put one here. Pluck that out now. About above the doors. That fixes it. Put one here. Uh, the doors are already covered. Um, above the beds. There we go. Alright. More feng shui. All right, so we're going to wrap the episode here. Uh, I'm going to go looking for Sirtis Quartz, and uh, in our next episode, we will go over how to create a grindstone and uh, get those things on uh, because, well, grindstones are pretty awesome like that. So uh, this is Havoc. Eat a pumpkin pie. Have fun. Keep gaming.